Welcome back everybody to the Anton Greenberry Road to Glory. We have just a couple games left to go here in this little mini series. Two more episodes it looks like. We have Memphis up first today, but then it's the big showdown against SMU, which might decide who wins our conference, and then we'll see. I don't know if there's a conference championship game, I don't believe so, but I expect next episode to be our bowl game. And I think we've gotten a lot better throughout the season now with Anton Greenberry. He's up to 17 touchdown passes. There are eight interceptions, but also some good rushing success at times. The sack yardage does, of course, take away from that. But overall, it's been a good stretch. And now we'll see if it can continue against Memphis. And time to get underway. Anton Greenberry trying to continue this good stretch. I want to end up with hopefully, you know, a good touchdown to interception ratio and everything. Been working on that the last couple episodes. So let's start. We got him the jump. I missed it. Oh, and I threw it right to a linebacker. We're off to a wonderful start today. I forgot that tight end route was that weird double move that actually takes a long time to develop but here is the second play this one's a little bit better out to Cooley around the numbers for 15 yards second down now for the Cardinals no blitz this time thankfully and to the outside got him again it's Ryan Cooley who's been our favorite target at least as far as the receivers go the tight ends are really good too looks like it's time to break out the option and it's going to be Greenberry running to the left and trying to stay behind his blockers as he gets drilled after a nine-yard run. Could be looking for McCauley here downfield. Two safeties back. Let's get this away to Hines and at least move the chains. Not sure I like the play call here, but we protect at least. Rolling away from pressure, directing traffic, floated down there. Greenberry got him for the touchdown, Jerome Jones. Arm talent outside the pocket. That's what I'm talking about. I wasn't sure if he had the accuracy to make that throw, but look at that. Anton Greenberry gets it done. 7-0 lead now against Memphis as Greenberry doesn't have much of a chance on first down. Big blitz coming now on second down. Get that away in time and Jones has enough to move the chains. Right now my bull prediction for this series is that we're going to see us play against a, a really good team that's probably a horrible matchup for us. I think we're outside of the big conferences, but we'll have a pretty good record. So there's a good chance that maybe a second or third place team in like the SEC or something is our opponent. But here's Greenberry running again on the inverted veer keeper. First down. First and 10. Good pressure there again from Memphis. Someone might get open downfield or maybe not as Greenberry runs for five. And now we finally decide, hey, let's get our running back involved. It's Leonard to the outside, and he'll tumble his way ahead for a few. This is not going to work at all. Fake the pitch. McKenzie. Oh, he's trying, but he can't get there. Good effort. Let's go for it. I say we go, and we will. And we're actually going to keep it on the ground. All right, then. Interesting call. I do like the go for it AI here in NCAA a lot. And we run left with Leonard. And he's got it for just enough. I think. Stuck on third and 12 now. But we have a play here that might work. A little four vert action here for Anton Greenberry. And up top. No, the pressure got there just in time. The safety was coming down to take care of the tight end. We had it. Instead, we just missed the field goal, and now we have to start over here to begin the second quarter. All right. It'll be a give to Leonard starting things off, and he'll get us five yards. On second and five, we'll go with a quick pass to the outside, and Cooley gets across the 50 for a gain of 22. So a nice stat line here for Greenberry. 7 of 11, 106 and a 1. 
And now, oh, I thought about taking the shot downfield instead. Sack deep in the backfield, loss of eight. I have a real chance to get Greenberry leveled up in this game, so I'm really hoping that we don't take too many sacks or turnovers we can get this done. But third and 21 is a tough spot to be in here. I'm expecting, that's not four verts. Not really. I mean, we might have four guys pretending to run a route, but here we go, Leonard on the draw. Oh wow, we didn't get it. Let's try this again now. Still a seven nothing game. Big rush off the play action. Give Golden some blocking. He will get nine. Ooh, I like this look here. We might be able to get a big play. If we protect Greenberry, which we kinda did, and Jones broke a tackle, we'll take it, 27 yards. The good day for Greenberry continues now, 142. Let's run this to the right. Leonard on the carry, got a lane, and leaned forward, almost got the first down. Seven for 16, we're actually like pretending we wanna run the football today which is more than we can say about some previous episodes. So it's third and inches, and we're going to throw it, and we're going to throw it for an interception, come on! Not getting the upgrade today, that's for sure. Not in this game, anyway. Yep, now 226 away, but it looks like we got a takeaway right back. So a chance for Greenberry to avenge the interception. Which we haven't had as many of those lately. Thought about lobbing the circle. How about instead we go for square? It's off the mark. I definitely thought we'd have a few more points by now, but we know what happened with that. We're going over the middle, and it's caught by Jones! Touchdown! Even with the tight coverage, we get it done. There we go. We can still have a good day. But I don't think that we're going to get to that upgrade. Maybe I will in the practice. Practices are pretty easy because I play them on freshman difficulty just because of the way the coach trust works in this game. And we're getting another drive here. Whoa, Greenberry sacked. All right, let's just make our way to the second half. We weren't really doing much on that possession, but hey, it's 14 to nothing. So we have ourselves a lead. The defense is allowing Memphis to do almost nothing. They have 49 yards. How about this throw? Greenberry right on the money. Jerome Jones staying busy. 116 and 2. Now it's some play action. Leonard picks up the free rusher. Greenberry getting 9 yards along the sideline. I like this play actually. I'm not sure if I've ever had this one in my playbooks, but it's definitely one that I would want. Floods one side of the field. I love flood concepts. That's just better off being missed anyway. Yeah, the Flood is one of my favorite concepts because it essentially gives you a half-field read. So you don't really have to look to the other side of the field. And plus, I mean, a lot of zone coverages aren't going to be equipped to handle the, the flooding of one side with every receiver. I think the Flood became one of my favorite concepts to use because when I played online, which I haven't in a while, but pretty much everybody uses zone coverage. Man coverage in Madden hasn't always been very good. It's not reliable. You'll make a lot more plays usually with zone coverage, but you just start to gear your offense towards ways to exploit and defeat zone coverage. So that's why it's one of my favorites. There's Jones though, getting 14 yards. Might have a 200 yard day in him here. Just gotta get 70 more. Screen pass now. And they're going to bring one extra defender. Come on, Leonard. Didn't get the blocks. But he still creates about six yards. Back to the air again on third down. Could have him right there. Put some air underneath it. And McCauley's down to the one. Just enough time there to get that done. And now goal to go. Can we punch it in, or can we fail and get Greenberry a touchdown? It's a Kevin Leonard score as we increase this lead against Memphis. I wonder if we'll get to the point where we pull the starters. Might be a 28-point lead to get that done, which we can hopefully do here. Short field again, though, for Louisville. We'll just swing this outside for Leonard, give him some blocking, and he'll get himself 12 yards. 
Bring in the pressure now. Let's just dump it off again. We have a blocker out there. Jones getting 14 yards. All right, can we get this in the end zone? Second and three. Heavy rush. Oh, I don't like this. Greenberry tripped up at the 15-yard line. This might be tough, but we'll see if we get time. They blitz. And okay. Oh, we end up turning the ball over anyway. I was just going to take the sack. Instead, Memphis takes the ball. They're going to drop the coach. Trust a good bit. And they make it a 14-point game. So, a big swing of momentum there. But Memphis sure needs a couple more of those to happen. They've scored on defense. but Well, I guess they scored on offense, finally. But the defense set them up. Now it's Hines for 24. Well, they weren't really set up. They got the turnover. Finally moved the football. You know what I mean. Greenberry now 280 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick, and a lost fumble. And now it's Leonard getting some room at last for a first. Not a huge fan of the play call here on third and 11, but we got to go with it. McKenzie losing yardage. All right. Between this series and Madden 19, the screens have not been very fun. Look at Memphis making it close, though. It's now a 10-point game. All right, we're going to run the football here and hopefully end this and move on to the SMU game, which I was really looking forward to. There we go, Leonard. If you have room, that's a first down. 15 yards. He might actually have, like, a decent amount of yardage today with a, a good average, too. Memphis, one timeout left. This one's just about over. Lead the way, Reggie Hines and Leonard... Fighting ahead for five yards, and Memphis is all out of timeouts. All right, let's end this thing right here. Third down and one. Roll right and throw it to McCauley out of bounds, of course. Thought we could pick up some extra yardage there, but instead Memphis will get the ball back. They do score again, but the game is over 27-21. Louisville gets their ninth victory of the season, and here's your play of the game. That first Greenberry touchdown. That was pretty cool. And that will take us to this matchup against SMU, who is no longer ranked. And their 9-2 record ties them with us, which means I believe this is essentially... The American Conference Championship game. I don't think there's an actual conference championship. I believe this is it. And what a perfect matchup here. Same record in conference, same record overall. Let's go. And check this out, everybody. I have extra plays I can potentially use now. I get five a game. I'm not going to spend them all in the first quarter or anything, but I at least got that leveled up in practice. But now it's time with Louisville opening with a quick pass to the outside and McCauley gets us a first down on the first play. Maybe I should have used one of those on this play though. I do not like the play action screen, but this is not the worst play. I guess it's a three yard run essentially. We just called a, a halfback power play, just call it that. But right back to stick now. And here's Greenberry. Looking for something quick or maybe something to develop. Can't throw it away. All right, let's try this again. Little four vertical action, and we got to get out of here. Greenberry, nice throw, though. It's Jerome Jones. Right on the money. That was a nice throw. We've seen some great throws from Greenberry outside the pocket today. And now this drive can actually continue. Off play action again for Jones. Coming off the 140 yard outing. He was player of the game last episode. Looks like a five man rush. They almost got home too. Here goes Greenberry diving or sliding ahead for a gain of seven. I like the play call here, especially on third down. Safety's gonna blitz. And let's get outside here. I should have lobbed it. Intended for Jones. Knocked away. And we get 50-yard field goal at least. All right. But SMU gets a touchdown. So now we trail. 
I think I'll save the extra plays mostly for red zone trips where like half the playbook isn't even usable and the play calls aren't always great. So I'm going to save them probably red zone or second half. Whatever comes up first. Hopefully a lot of red zone trips as we run it left here. Leonard, no. Third down and five now. And we'll settle over the middle. Pretty soft coverage there. We'll take the first to McCauley. Wow, this first quarter is going by way quicker. It's a different ball game when the opposing team can actually move the football. Six of seven start, though, for Anton Greenberry. And we'll run it left again. And trying to get outside. Leonard has some room and has nearly a first down. I really enjoy this play call, though. We've been calling this one a lot lately. Hines motions, we can roll this way and just dump it right off there. Cooley trying to bounce outside and is wrapped up after a gain of eight. Here comes that safety again. Gonna step to the right. Oh, this is risky. I don't like that I did that. Intercepted. Didn't really account for the defender covering the other receiver. I don't normally throw it across the field like that. But I thought we had something. Apparently we did not. Minus 130. Gonna lose this extra play bonus. But I think I'll get it back in the practice before the bowl game. So it should return, hopefully. And we'll get this outside. A nice spinning catch made by Derek McCauley getting 20 yards. And maybe I can make up for those bad plays with the points here. But it's slow. But yeah, I definitely throw a lot of bad interceptions on this game. This lob will work out a little bit better. It's Hines downfield getting 44. But I mean, this football game in particular, I've played more than any other. Now, Maddens don't always change much from year to year. The feel often is familiar. But this is the game I've played the most of in terms of video game football. Uh-oh, that was probably a bad idea. But I'm still throwing really bad interceptions on here. It's probably never going to go away. I don't know. It seems like NCAA is both like one of the most difficult games to avoid interceptions. But also like it's a game where you can easily rack up a lot of yardage and stats. I don't know. It's an interesting blend as Greenberry gets a yard out of that. Okay, I'm actually okay with this play call, so I'm not going to use a bonus. I actually really like this one. Either Hines or McCauley. I'll look for Hines first, but he's jammed pretty good. And the pressure is right there as Greenberry is sacked. Alright, two touchdowns and two field goals. Normally in games like this, I'm on the other side of it where my team is able to get the touchdowns. But no, we're going to have to play some better defense or offense maybe both moving forward and can't settle for all these threes approaching the two minute mark and a pass underneath that's Hines very close got to really beat the pressure on a lot of these throws and now we got to trust the run I wish we'd run on earlier downs I don't like third down runs with this team our blocking isn't good enough here's Leonard to the left and he's got it this time all right, quick slants this time. Got it right there. Cooley with room to run. And across the 50 we go. Another stick call here. Got to roll away. Got it there. Golden hangs on to it. Not bad. I might skip stick if they call it again, though, on this possession. What happened here? We called a timeout. I kind of like that play call. But I like this one more. A lot more. Especially with our tight end talent. And the safeties in this alignment. Oh, might be a might be a really aggressive blitz call here. I don't know how they're gonna cover this, but downfield caught by Jones. They actually did cover it, but not well enough. Jones makes the play. Now let's punch this in. Greenberry, 204 yards. We have six points to show for it. Now let's score. Leonard, what? Denied right at the goal line. We're going to wind the clock a bit here. Don't want to leave SMU time to respond. And here we go. Leonard again hits the end zone. And that will give us 
a chance to tie it up if we decide to go for two this is a time to use the extra play function and I'm going Y corner see I don't like the slants on both sides because you can't read both post play you can pick your spot pre-play but I like that this gives me three chances on the right side here for players I think could make this play happen. And we'll float it upstairs. It's picked. I don't know why he cut off his route. But it is an interception. And we're down by two. And they did not score before half. So good clock management at least. Now let's try and take this lead. 12 to 14. And opening with Kevin Leonard on the sweep. Again, trying to get to the outside. Not much. Oh, we got five. Okay. Tired of seeing stick all the time. We're moving this to trail shake. I'll have three extra plays left to go. Maybe we look downfield. Too deep. And our one is wide open. McCauley's got a chance to run with it. He'll take us to midfield. Here we go. This play can definitely hit the home run, especially when it's protected. Ah, oh, man, it ran out. But they actually covered it, too, so... I was probably going to get an intentional grounding or something anyway. Could be a failed drive after that, but we'll get some of that back now. Golden across the 45. We have a shot here. Third down and 11. How about Jones uncovered? Too easy, SMU. 27 yards to our star tight end, who's going to have another 100-yard day before this one's over. Speed option. This ought to be fun. The toss to Leonard. And we get something out of it. Six yards at least. These are the plays we need down here. Third down and four. Heavy rush in. Coming. Couldn't get it away. Oh, man. So much pressure. But at least we can kick. We made it, too. 15 to 14. SMU, though, responds. They must have missed the extra point, though. Five-point game. Late third quarter. What does Greenberry have in store here? It's crunch time. And, oh, man. Yeah, the extra plays here don't give me much of a chance. So we're going to be set up for a punt here unless we can get a big play from Jones. Or a lucky catch and run, which I'm not really counting on. And we're going down there to Jones at the sideline. He stayed in bounds and everything. 37 yards. Well, that's lucky. I can't believe I had the time in the pocket, too. I thought I'd have to get rid of that a little sooner. But now... Inside a minute, this drive is not over. Heavy blitz. How about you take the ball? I don't want to get hit. Yep, it's extra play time. And of course, we had stick as two of the three options. So now we're going for a comeback. You got to protect. I need the timing on this. You know what? How about we go right there? Knocked away. I've seen those diving deflections a lot lately. They look so good. I love that animation. All right, third down magic again. We need it. Greenberry up top we go. And caught. Downfield, it's golden. 60 yards. There's an art to the underthrown deep ball in this game. And it's sometimes more reliable. Like, if you're going to throw this, it needs to be, like, over or underthrown. You do not want this to end up contested. It's advantage DB in that situation. We're making it work. Greenberry showing that he's clutch. Now we got to win this game and score this touchdown. So we motion over Hines. And we're going to roll, but play it safe. We have more downs. Eight seconds to go in the quarter. Draw. Greenberry lost the ball at the one. You're kidding me. Anton Greenberry lost the ball. I was just trying to get something, maybe the score. Oh my. And SMU somehow doesn't score. That's 357 yards now for Anton Greenberry. And 15 points on the board. Now we have to travel 98 yards. So hopefully this can be out quick. McCauley caught it. There's some room. And now it's my favorite play call, read option here with Anton Greenberry. 
And he's got to run it. And he's got some room. And he does not fumble this time. But someone's hurt. And it is Leonard. And that's going to bring in McKenzie. Here's a stretch. McKenzie does have more speed than Leonard. At least I think he does. And he'll get us four. Don't think these running calls are right. I'm switching this up to Trail Shake. Not sure how many more uses of this I have, but I need better plays. We have to travel a long way here. And we're going to roll and lob. What? What did he do that for? Why did he stop his road there? I was going to lead him 15 yards to the right. What was that? I have one extra play left. So hopefully we get a chance to use it. Here we go. Third down. And at the sideline. God, no! He dropped it! I actually did the right thing on that play! Golden right through his hands. And we've got to get this back again. Oh, no. I don't know if I trust our defense. Third down and five. Four receivers in the game for SMU. Williams withstands the rush, and he's going deep. And that ball is knocked away by Jeff Tyler. And we'll get another drive. And it wasn't a great punt either. All right, five-point game, and Louisville needs the touchdown now. We've got it. Oh, I thought we'd get there. Third down already. Screen. I'll stick with it here and save the skip play for what is likely going to be fourth down. But here we go. Let's roll. Get it to McKenzie. No chance. None whatsoever. So what do we got? Better have something good here. It's going to be a punt. You're not punting this football. Are you kidding me? What a horrible choice. But we're getting the ball back again. And I think we have plenty of time. So this is it. Our last chance essentially as Cooley can't hang on to the quick strike. A minute 58 left to go. And again, just we're not getting what we need here. Can't take more lost yardage. We need something. Four verts. We'll go with it. I always like our chances with four verts in this game. Especially with Jerome Jones. And that puts the ball at midfield for Louisville. 50 yards to go. Going four verticals again, it looks like. And this time, we can get it there. It's Jones. He's got it inside the 15. Not going down until he gets inside the 10. 41 more. Greenberry, 400 plus yards on the day. Not a touchdown, though, as we now look to get it. And I will run some clock here. With a minute to go. Dump it off to the right here. Henderson. He will fight down to about the two. Good first play there. I don't hate the play call here. It's read option. And Greenberry will put this in the end zone at last. Took a little while, but we're not done. We have to go for two. And I think the slant call here is a pretty good one, but I like Z-Spot more. It should be our last play we run today, I hope. Greenberry is going to roll to the right, and he's going to run it in! And Louisville's up three with 53 seconds on the clock. And now 46 seconds to watch our defense hopefully win the conference for us. Four receivers in the game for the Mustangs. And Williams wants the underneath option. Tackled in bounds. They use a timeout. Third and two now. Williams. Plenty of time. And now time runs out as he heaves it deep. And that ball is picked off. It's Paris. Just go down. And he does. Louisville's going to win this game. And we have won. The American Conference here over SMU. What a game. Definitely sloppy, but at least we got that last drive we needed. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're actually going to punt the ball. You did, and now it's over. Louisville wins with 400-plus yards from Anton Greenberry. 
And he had the play of the game right here. The rushing touchdown. He ran for eight points on that drive. So we didn't get to play in a true conference championship game, but we essentially just did. It was a de facto championship game. We got that experience at least. And now it's time for us to find out who will be the last opponent for Anton Greenberry in this mini Road to Glory series. Here we go. Our opponent in our bowl game will be Texas A&M, the number two team? It's the Sugar Bowl. The number two team is not in the national championship. So I was right. We would see us take on, like, somebody who didn't make it to the title game in a bad matchup for us. Are you kidding me? Texas A&M, it must be another SEC team in the title then. And we are definitely overmatched going into this one. It's going to be a tough game. But what happened? They had to have lost the SEC championship. And they did. South Carolina must be going to play against the number three team. Okay. All right, then. We get the number two team in the country as Anton Greenberry will play his last college game at Louisville. And here are the numbers right now. 19 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. And on the ground, four more touchdown runs. So next episode, just the bowl game. Can Anton Greenberry and Louisville finish strong and win the upset over Texas A&M to cement Anton Greenberry as the number one quarterback? All right, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed today. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know, do you think Louisville and Anton Greenberry can actually get this done? We'll find out soon in the Sugar Bowl episode. Have a great day, and I'll see you all then.